Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 1 of Toilet Bound Hanako-kun. Okay, so I had been debating to watch this for almost about a week, and then I was gonna watch another show too as well, but I'm like too fucking busy, and this is officially my last show, and after this, I'm going to be, I'm already extremely busy with things, and so I was like, yeah, I can take like at least one more and that's it, but I've heard really good things about this, um... I've seen the art style and I fucking love it. It is cute. It is creepy. It is my fucking aesthetic. The two things that I love the most. Cute things and creepy things. The fact that it's a little bit of horror and cuteness at the same time. It's just, just like, sign me the fuck up. Like, that is my thing. That is my niche. My weakness. Everything that I need in a nutshell. But yeah, other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one. In three, two, one, go. Freaking logos. Like, ugh. Don't have a logo for tomorrow episode. Like, you can put the Funimation logo on there, but I don't want that. But I, I feel like it's just gonna happen no matter what. Behind you. A ghost? But you're cute as a boo! Oh my god! <laughs> you're so adorable! I can't!
dude, you're kind of like Moaning Myrtle from Harry Potter, in a way. No, like, almost exact. Except she don't do wishes, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> You are just so cute! Okay, Nene. Okay. And I'm guessing it, it's your senpai or something like that? Oh, he is cute! Hmm. And that's when you knew you were in love with him. Oh, Nene! Don't make me spit out my water, please. <laughs> mm hmm. Hmm. Kind of figured that. Oh. <laughs> we think they have picking you about to fuck them up. <laughs> oh. But. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. Oh, fuck you. Hmm. Poor baby. <laughs> So, I mean, in a way, you're kind of not really, you're more ob obsessed of being in love with him and not actually in love with him. Just maybe the thought of being in love. Mm, see? Bam. You, Missy? I can't believe I'm going to say this. You were like Anna from Frozen. Oh my God. But you know what? That's okay. We've all done that. Whether it's a guy or a girl, we've all been guilty about it. Here you go, reach for the stars, baby. <laughs> Let me see. I know that's a random gift, but... <laughs> oh, Nene.
Bye, Nova. God damn it. <laughs> I don't even want to know. I don't even want to see. Yeah. Yes, you can. <laughs> I know it sounds like the Piazza Bruno and I'll be with you. <laughs> Bobblehead doll? Yeah, what is it? Oh, okay, she got doll. Wait, Mene. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh! Oh! Mm. Then it, that's not right. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. 
โอ้โหแต่สิ that's why we don't put anything in our mouth because there are consequences Mm -hmm. So he barely even knows him. You barely, he's barely even gotten to know you. You turned into a fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you realized this. Mm -hmm. Oh, Nene. Oh shit. How about no? Mm hmm. Oh my god! I think she looks so cute while panicking. Oh my god! Oh, he about to butcher your ass. <laughs> mm. Let's just find out a way to turn him back into a human. Yeah, he's right back up.
Seriously? Yeah, because you're linked now. <laughs> Aww. True. Yeah. <laughs> so it takes a really cute warm moment and just fucks it up. <laughs> I liked it. I liked it a lot. It was really good. In a way, Nene and both Hanako, they, they're giving me feels towards for you. <laughs> you <laughs> no. Yeah, no, I can't. It, it does give me a lot of feels towards Noragami. And I like that about it. It's cute. And I'm slowly starting to ship them. They just look so cute together. I mean, my God. It's different. I mean, I think this is maybe possibly from what I've seen after episode one, the shining star besides all these other shows coming out this year. I would say it's this and a couple other shows that I've seen that are like the ones without all the sequels. They still shine, but you know, all the attentions are going towards the sequels, but it's still good. I like it. Nene is interesting. It's obvious that's freaking Nezuko's out of VA because I mean, come on. You heard, hmm, hmm. I was like, yep, yeah, mm hmm. But she's so cute. Oh my God. It's everything I wanted. And I really love the fact that it takes two things that I like a lot. Cuteness and creepiness. I mean, it's adorable. Fuck it. I love it. Just, oh, it's so freaking cute. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing that I do hope to um, know, I mean, episode one, it gives you a little bit of backstory of Hanako and how, you know, some things of what kind of, you know, his story and everything. But I still want to know, like, what the hell happened to him to end up this way? There has to be something. As I love the fact is he, he says something that if you've seen the show Once Upon a Time that used to air on ABC that is on Netflix that you could sit and watch now if you wanted to, everything does come with a price. Whether it's good or bad. I'm glad that, you know, he did that for her. Turned her back into a human. Now they're linked together. <laughs> and they can beat the shit out of him every time when she wants to when he's being a little too jokey-jokey. But it's okay. But yeah, I mean, I just really want to know a lot more of him. Because, I mean, this is just episode one. Anything else could happen with the rest of these episodes. And he seems like a character that has a really tragic backstory. Because he, even though he's sweet, he's funny... He's kind, he's gentle-ish like that. He seems like a character that has, like, the most horrible backstory. So I'm guessing maybe later on into the show, maybe about, like, episode 6, maybe episode 7, 
we might see what that backstory of his might, you know, portray and wondering how in the world he got there. But yeah, it was a damn good episode. I loved it. But I just love the fact that it was a learning lesson for Nene. And the fact is that she wasn't really in love with him. It was just the thought of love, of being obsessed with someone. And stuff. I mean, because we've all, well, not really the obsessive part, really, really when it's just coming with like celebrities and anime characters or whatever else. But um, when you rush a little bit into love, you sometimes act like that. You maybe don't know every single thing about him. But that's the point of getting to learn to know it, to know someone and just the thought of it. But yeah, it's just so fucking cute. My fucking Nezuko, like, oh my god. <laughs> she played a cute girl once again. I mean, between this, you know, of course, Nezuko and then Love Live. <laughs> Playing the best character in the Love Live series. <laughs> A girl who just kind of that girl who just loves to fucking sleep. I mean, this is like, yes, top tier, baby. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction grease for episode one of Toilet Bound Hanako Kun. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all tomorrow for episode two. Bye, guys. Thank you.